Hey, you guys, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings your way. I wanted to point out a couple of things before we get started. You know, Doria Raglan has the house in Windsor Heights. And the Moronis growing up, uh, Ben and his sister, they were raised on Sussex Avenue. Okay, here we go. As little as 300 years ago, the British royal family routinely consumed human flesh and organs for medicinal purposes. According to research, this practice may have been have persisted to as late as the beginning of the 19th century. Blood, brains, hearts, livers, and even eyes were on the menu. The parts were often taken from dead soldiers or prisoners. Some monarchs even opted to extract the body parts directly from the corpse themselves to ensure they were as fresh and as delicious as possible. They've always been pretty persistent in, sh in ensuring their descendants come from quite a small gene pool. It's interesting to note that a number of queen consorts have ascended the throne after first being engaged to the deceased sibling of the new king. And if ever there was a candidate for king of the Illuminati, Prince William must be it. According to the uh, article that I found, through Diana and his dad, Prince Charles, he descends from a bewildering array of historical figures, including William the Conqueror, Charlemagne, Ivan the Terrible, Catherine the Great, Frederick the Great, Vlad the Impaler, Robert the Bruce and more. Additionally, he was born on the summer solstice, allegedly after labor was induced in his mom, giving further weight to suspicions that he may be lined up for global leadership. By the late 18th century, it is believed that black magic practices had permanently permeated the British royal family and that black magic texts like the 18th century book The Key to Hell had become popular with the British royal within British royal circles. Queen Elizabeth II has always been a shape-shifting member of the Illuminati. She's right up top of the elite system trying to infiltrate a new world order. I've seen them all shape-shift at one point or the other. I've seen them all do it. And if you pay pay close attention in um especially the beginning of the interview video with Megan and Harry, uh, where they sit down in that overpriced frock she's wearing, uh, talking to whoever, you can watch Harry's eyes change colors. You can see he has a double lid. It sounds far-fetched to people that don't understand this, but do your research. It's real. Now I want to get on real quick because I hate dragging this out, and I want to tell you how the Moronis pulled Megan into their circle, and this is what started everything. When Megan was up to can in Canada, um, she left her friends behind. She, she admitted that she had very little friends up there, and she felt very lonely, and in her, mean, you know, her spare time when she wasn't doing her suit stuff, she was walking around the park trying to solicit girlfriends, hanging out at the yoga studio, all this other stuff, her words exactly, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, pops this Jessica Mulroney, and she and her husband, Brian, I'm sorry, Ben, are, are both known for the most polished power couple in Canada. Who are they? Okay, so Ben Mulroney, Jessica's husband, is the son of former Prime Minister of Canada's um, Brian Mulroney. Brian Mulroney is extremely close with uh, Prince Philip. I hate even saying Prince and Queen Elizabeth gag. Anyhow, um, they're all buddy buddy. He was chosen like a lot of other political leaders um, by his uh, moral frailties, his blackmail ability, and his willingness to advance the Illuminati plan. I can't say a lot of things here, uh, but I will leave a link in the description. Please read it. Check it out for yourselves. Um, it's against YouTube's guidelines, even if I deem this an educational video, which it should be, and it is. Or it is, and it should be. <laughs> Anyhow, I want to say something very important. I found this other article. I'm going to read it to you really fast. Um, if I get tongue-tied and twisted, forgive me, but let's get on with this. I found a super important article called Grace Kelly and the Royal Sacrifice, Princess Diana to Meghan Markle, 
And here it goes. It says, I was reminded of Grace Kelly today, the American actress who became the Princess of Monaco before dying in a car wreck. In 1982, a fairy tale tragedy so dang close to Princess Diana's that we definitely needed to compare coding and see um, what syncs up, especially in light of Meghan Markle, another American act actress joining the folds of European black nobility, uh, like the virgin sacrifice prepared before the volcano. First thing we see is the age at which Grace Kelly died, exactly 19,300 days old. Assassinated equals 193. Sacrificed equals 193. Monarchy equals 193. And the 193rd prime number is 44, and she died in Monaco equals 44. The day after her car crash equals 44. On numerology of ritual uh, kill equals 44. Ritual sacrifice equals 44. Grace Kelly became a uh, princess after marrying Prince Rainer the third equals 44 whom she met while filming a Hitchcock movie in Monte Carlo Rainier the third Prince of Monaco 404 Principality of Monaco is 1404 the kingdom equals 144 royal kingdom equals 144 Prince uh, Diana Princess Diana 144 royal sacrifice 1404 144 she set sail in 1956 to marry into the Monaco royal family on 4-4, a span of 144 days after her 26th birthday, the wedding held on numerology of 44. Prince Henry of Wales, 193, a.k.a. Harry, 44, was born 104 weeks, 4 days after Kelly's death. It said while driving the wet winding hills of Monte Carlo in her beloved Green Rover, P6, she suffered a stroke, which caused her to hit the accelerator instead of the brake and rock, rock it off the side of a mountain in a hairpin turn. She died from the... the injuries the following evening think about how easy it'd be to have the car's brakes line severed via remote control on that dangerous road raised to be dissociative uh, grace was most likely an mk slave who'd worn out her use and was slated for the occult ritual that would be uh, her forced retirement on the date when all the durations were perfectly synchronized Okay, you guys, it says that the uh, Royal Sacrifice code is 26 slash 62. Princess Grace Patricia Kelly is 126 slash 162. America's Princess 260 slash 162. Grace Kelly equals 1026. French Riviera 1026. Monte Carlo 126. Grace 62. Grace of Monaco 62. The Princess of Monaco, 206. Grace de Monaco, 206. As she signed her name, became a sacrifice equals 206. When Queen Elizabeth II was exactly 20,600 days old. Yep, <laughs> that's right. Destined for royalty, Grace was born on numerology of, and I'm not going to even give that kind of... That, that's a waste of our time, equals 26. She married the prince at age 26, died 26 years later at 52, her husband's full name, Rainier, Louis, Henry, Maxence, Bertrand, Grimaldi, equals 260. House of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha, 260. And indeed, Grace's mother was a German royal bloodline. Grace's father was one of the greatest rowers of all time, a multimillionaire, triple Olympic gold medal winner who won 126 races in a row. He died on 620 of 1960. Prince Harry and Meghan equals 126. We'll be getting married on 5-19-18. A date, of course, coded with numerology of 2662. Remember, you guys, that means sacrifice. And coming exactly 62 years and a month after Grace Kelly's wedding. The United Kingdom equals 621. Black Nobility equals 126. Megan Windsor, 1206. Windsor Markle, 6162. And Harry and Megan were born 162 weeks apart. Megan Markle was the perfect age of 16 years, 26 days old, the day before Princess Diana, equals 262, was ritually sacrificed in the same manner as Princess Grace. It gets even wilder 
when we see that Markle's ancestor John Hussey was beheaded by Henry VIII the year after he had his own wife Anne Boylan executed. Boylan uh, decapitated precisely 162,600 days before the birth of Markle. Princess Diana 262-126. Diana of Wales equals 162. In the DC Comics universe, Wonder Woman's real name is Princess Diana equals 260. Diana of, and I'm sorry I can't say that word right now, equals 1026-162. And in an issue 126 released three days before the death of Princess Diana of Wales, Wonder Woman is fatally injured and she died in the next issue. The British Empire, 262. The People's Princess, 262. Queen of the United Kingdom, 262. The British Empire, 262. The Kingdom of England, 262. International Banking, 262. Ruling Elite, 262. The British Commonwealth, 260. British Empire, 126. Royal Family, 126. The Windsors, 1126-206. The House of Windsor, 206. Sacrifice, 206. You guys, I'm jumping down, and I'll leave this link also in the description. Please read it. It might not make sense right now, but maybe you can make some sense of it. I wanted to get to this very important part of this. All right, here we go. Royal equals 551. Grace Kelly equals 551. Was born 11,555 days before the birth of Princess Diana and Kelly Drover Rover equals 155 off the cliff. 5,555 days after Jane Mansfield was killed in a car crash. The Princess of Monaco pronounced dead at 10.55 p.m. Diana attended Grace's funeral and was married to Charles for 5,510 days. Assassinated 551. The Illuminati 551 Freemasons 155 Rachel Megan Markle equals 155 I hope I made sense I tried my very best um I I hope you guys please check out the uh links in the description read this stuff yourself you'll see this was definitely an Illuminati arranged marriage I believe for her to have um accepted this Illuminati situation her status i believe she had to do a ritual sacrifice her dad had a bona fide heart attack he has shown his medical records for proof right around the time of the um wedding of course we all know this and it just seems very strange very strange it would be even more bizarre if this child would arrive on the 19th of april that would really speak volumes and creep me out but anyway just take a minute and read these these links there's so much that i couldn't say due to youtube guidelines but i do know in my heart this was an arranged illuminati uh, marriage it was anyway you guys i'll see you real soon we'll talk much faster stay safe and be blessed